Dr. Wells, begin recording, please. Okay, begin quantum entanglement test number 18. Test object is a steel cylinder, length 35 centimeters, diameter 9 centimeters, weight 10 kilos. Dr. O'Neill to all base personnel, prepare for scheduled blackout in 5, 4, 3, 2. Dr. Entanglement at 10%. Dr. O'Neill, I'm reading power surge. Power grounding couples losing integrity. We're going to have to cut the power. Dr. O'Neill, we're going to have to cut it. Dr. O'Neill, take a breather. The solution will come. DOD wants to transport living soldiers to the battlefield within a year. I can't even get 20 inanimate pounds to move 30 feet across the lab. Faye, go home. Thank you, George. There are no shortcuts. Laboratory secured. Please exit now. Dad, what are you doing? What are you doing? Let me help you with that. Ellie, Ellie, don't patronize me. I fed myself since long before we got married. Wait! I'm doing something! Stop it! No shortcuts. We've been going about this all wrong. We've been trying to quantum entangle matter in one reaction chamber with essentially thin air in the other. Based on yesterday's run, that would take upwards of a terawatt for every item we wanted to transit through it. Instead, we quantum entangle both reaction chambers to each other until they are both fully entangled. 
they essentially become identical at the quantum level, and inside them... You define an identical area of local space-time. Exactly. Anything entering one chamber appears simultaneously in the second. Exiting an item from the second chamber makes it vanish from the first. It's an einstein podolsky rosen bridge. Revolutionized transportation. We're a long way away from sending humans through it. Yes, well, you've cracked what nobody else could. searched her. They found this. What is it? She wouldn't say. She'd only talk to you. Major Jeffries. Who are you? I forgot how tedious this part was. What is this? How Silas. Who the hell are you? Identifying Dr. O'Neill. The machine takes just a little longer to recognize me. Slight chromosomal aberration I picked up after the ozone layer failed. Thanks for always being diligent with the sunscreen. Time travel? You knew this was a possibility the second you turned the machine on. Just took more power. We figured that out about 20 years from now. Gets complicated from here. We need a workstation. This is when I turned the machine on. Yesterday. 22 years ago for me. Two weeks later, my machine activated and outstepped an older version of me. I call her Faye Prime because she was the first version of us to time travel. She had come from 2057 from a timeline that had not yet been altered. She brought back with her the cure for Alzheimer's. Her father had died years before, but mine now had a new lease on life. The great Dr. Silas O'Neill was back. Is that what this is? The cure? No, just a temporary remedy to help ease Silas' symptoms. I wouldn't repeat Faye Prime's mistake. Her mistake? I'm convinced that the universe branched right at the point when Faye Prime arrived and that I have been living in this branch for the last 22 years. The universe can't reconcile the change, so it creates a new branch to allow both outcomes to occur. Unfortunately, the branch seems to be destroying all of space-time. What? The universe can cope with the paradox? But the universe can't cope with the fact that we've created a shortcut through time and space. A machine. I believe that the universe is taking all these points in space-time that are connected because of the machine, pinching them together and warping the rest of space-time around the pinch. They probably knew it was a possibility. She had given me a margin of two weeks. If she had come back immediately after the machine was turned on, as I did, there would be no way to undo any of the damage her actions might cause. As we worked together to generate enough power to send her back to her time, she told me, if anything went wrong, I would have to come back to an earlier time before she did to stop it. We're going to need some help. I'll call George in. No, George. I've already contaminated this timeline enough. But you can send someone for Silas. Let me go. I didn't do anything. 
Dad, it's all right. I've got this. Mom! Mom, they were so mean to me. It's okay, honey. I don't like this place. I know, sweetheart. I know. What are you doing? This shouldn't take long. This is so familiar. Dad, go back and sit down. I thought I dreamt this. I think the injection is working. Can you tell me who you are? Silas. Silas O'Neill. Dr. Silas O'Neill. And can you tell me where you are? My lab. My daughter's lab. Who are you? I don't think you're ready for that story yet. Come on, let's go back and sit down. Your daughter and I are about to begin an experiment. We're glad you're here to see it. That's right, Dad. Shall we begin? Please allow me. Dr. O'Neill. Sequence initiated. It's beautiful. Yes, it is. Computer, emergency override. side effect this time. What do you mean, we? You can do this on your own. You don't need me, Faye. You're the only doctor on the end of the family now. Thank <laughs> you. 